Today we're going to explore open step 4.2, but before we start, let's just get some of the basic. Next step was pretty much an OS that was built by Next Computer that was founded by Steve Jobs when he was outed from Apple in the late 80s and early 90s and it was initially used for its range of propriety workstations. So they did something called the Next Cube. It's very similar to the B-Box and the BOS. Again, it was really expensive back in the days and it was really meant to be used by professionals. Again, very much oriented for multimedia tasks, execution in parallel in the same time. And next step came with some novelties. I'm going to try to show some of them in the video, but they hosted also the original development of electronic art wrapper. This is the first commercial electronic software distribution catalog to collectively manage encryption and provide digital rights for application software. So this is what we now mean by App Store, like we have the Play Store, we have the iOS App Store, whatever. But back in the days, this was considered a novelty, but it didn't stop here because it also introduced the idea of Dock, later on carried with OpenStep into macOS. I'm going to share more info about this and also the shelf. So those are things that we use now to these days in macOS and not only of course. I guess there are a lot of differences between BOS and Next Step, but Next Step uh, was a bit more advanced in terms of networking support. BOS was really like user-centric, but one of the main differences is that Next Step just got lucky because at some point in 1996, the Apple computer acquired Next. So they needed a successor to the classic macOS and they merged Next Step and Open Step with the Macintosh environment to create the Mac OS Hicks. And the version that we are going to review in the video is Open Step 4 or two, the latest version of Next Step released in 1997 January, one month after the announcement of the acquisition of Next IT by Apple in December, like a month ago in 1996. So I guess that Next Step got a bit more lucky than BIOS because they really founded the foundation of macOS the way we uh, know it right now. And before I start the video, guys, I want to share something with you. On this forum, right, there is a guy called Coldport80. So he did really all the heavy lifting, guys to create a workable OVA file that I'm using right now within my VirtualBox configuration. So I'm gonna put the link down below, right? Like this guy really spent a lot of tweaking to just get this image to work because apparently, according to what I read, the next step can be so fragile and can break very easily if you don't get the right drivers and etc. So a lot of respect for the great work goes to CodePoet80. Again, the link is going to be in the video description or the comments. Now let's go back to my VM. So this is the version that I'm using right now. It's OpenStep 4.2. You can see the Warspace version 379, the PostScript version 148. It's running on an emulated Intel 486 with 32 megs of RAM and one and a half GB of hard drive. The first time you boot a system, this is what you're gonna get on the screen. It's the file viewer. So here we have me. And by the way, if you're using this build, the user is me, the password is next. It's described on the forum. So we have me, and then you can click on your PC. We have library, local apps, local library. We have me, we have net. By the way, network access also should be working with this version. You can change the IP if you wanna do so. Then we have the next apps, all right? And you can, by the way, see like how much this looks like the early version of macOS and even to this day there are some things still very similar. So here we have edit, fax reader, grab, librarian, mail application, we have the preference app review, a lot of nice things. Then guys we have the next admin from where you can go and try to trick some of the system settings. You can do configuration, build disk, the network setup, the installer, etc. Then we have local apps. And I'm going to try to show you some of the apps that the guy bundled inside the image because they're really a lot. And specifically when you click here on the demos, guys, you're going to see there are really some workable demos and we're going to have a look. Next, we have the local app. So just let's have a look. All right, create diagram app. We have the sign app that kind of manages the workplace. We have the file miracle. We have graphics opener app. And by the way, guys, if you want to resize the windows, you can do so. One of the novelties that was introduced in Next Step was the thing that you can just take the window and move it around and you can pretty much do also with a picture. And back in the days for like late 80s, this was really unseen. And even in one of the videos that you can see online, Steve Jobs were joking that if you have to do this with a picture um, on the Apple computer, it's going to take you like two weeks to render it. This was really a novelty, the fact that you can just take a window with a lot of icon and drag it in real time with all the icons inside. All right, we have H News app, we have the MPEG Next Compressors, Package Builder, Pixel app, Quake app, and if we click here on the demos, you're gonna see that this guy really tried to put a lot of demos. I'm gonna try to show everything that works in this video. And on the right, we do have the dock, and I believe this requires no explanation. So famous by now. Let me show you how this works. If I try to open an application, in this case, it's going to be the terminal, and I click this button here, it's gonna get minimized where, yeah, 
here. And this is really so familiar with the early Mac OS releases. Even to these days, there are a lot of similarities. But just imagine having this in the early 90s. This was really groundbreaking from back in the days. Now, when we go inside the demos, all right, I'm just going to start with chess because this is something that a lot of users, Mac users can relate. I have initiated a game and as you can see, this really looks amazing. Like not a standard like 2D chess we had in the 80s. This is a proper 3D chess with even wood on the table. So absolutely amazing. This is the billiard application. And this thing here is a boink out. A lot of people say that Steve included this just as a legacy to his time he spent in Atari, but it's pretty much like an asteroid game with some fancy sounds. And by the way, yes, sound is working as well here. I don't have any CD drive, but just take a look at the CD player with a compact disc digital audio logo. I mean, those were just quite some days. Let's check the draw application. Started it directly opens here down below. Yeah, and <laughs> you can choose different forms. All right, let's uh, circle GL demo up. Let's see what this thing is going to do. Hopefully not really crush my open step forward or two. All right, GL demo. I'm going to click the info GL demo by one next 2009. All right, let's see. Start. Yeah. Yes, I was right. This is a little app that shows the OpenGL Gears demo with Mesa 3D. How fancy is this? And as we're here, let's try to see what I can do with this text editor. This text editor. All right. So this is it. It's an RTF file. So we can save, open, edit, all right. format. Let's go and check the font, guys, because I want to show you. The font panel is also something that a lot of people recognize in the later MacWorld builds. Like, just... <laughs> so identical. I mean, of course, it was really built with next step and open step. So let's just go and try to change the font here. Uh, let's make it bigger. Yep, you can see it all works like this. And this thing here called the shelf is also a concept that was later adopted in macOS together, of course, with the dock. All right, well, let's see. Keyboard application. We have the ASCII code table. All the symbols are here as well. Mandelbrot application. Let's try to start that one. I'm going to click run here and ooh, yeah, it generates it. And you can, of course, go and change some of the settings. Let's try to run this again. How cool is that? Places. All right, I'm going to rerun it. Yeah, works like a charm. Now, the next thing is very cool, guys. It's called the Molecule app, and it will allow you to run Molecule modelers and just zoom in and out on the molecule. So when you start, it's going to be empty. Right. And now from here, we can choose open molecule file. And then, of course, this dialog window is also something a lot of people will recognize from the early MacWise version. So let's open ethanol here. This is it, right? You can rotate it in 3D, which was kind of advanced for back in the days. And this is Random Manager, created 1991. So this is already more like 30 years. Sound application. Let's try to see what we have here. And you can, by the way, see a lot of the early iPhone OS before it was iOS. Icon influence is also there. Just love it. Seems to be nothing there, but let me show you something cool. If I try to go on the floppy and I know the floppy doesn't work, take a look at this here. Workspace. The floppy disk is unreadable, so I will eject it. All right. And now the system will tell me you can safely remove the floppy disk now. And this gives so much vibes with like Windows and when you plug the USB. And they had this really in the early 90s. It's just so impressive. We do have also Treeview, an application for previewing render man files. Now let's go to the local apps. Let's open the create application. And by the way, take a look, guys. All these applications are now still open here, down below. This is like a program that you can use to create various graphics. And this is, again, also one of the main emphasis of Next and then OpenStep OS, really meant to be multimedia oriented. Let's try the diagram application, the tools of enterprise, guys. Quantix, Taskmaster, WebPaint, PowerSheet. <laughs> oh yeah, does this look like a Visio? I guess so, right? Because you can probably create flowcharts with this just by dragging some of these elements. File Spy application, an app that will let you observe log files. <laughs> and it's a bomb-free software. All right, that's funny. FrameMaker 3.2. Let's go and check this one here. The Premier Workstation Publishing Software version 3.2. Wow, this certainly gives me a 90s vibe because this was really a demo document from Forecast 1991. You can see you can use this to create all kind of documents like this and leaflets. So yeah, it's a publishing software apparently. And now let's click on games because I know that there should be some games included here. All right, Blast application. The sound is coming. 
and I can also shoot, but for some reason I'm not able to move around. Let's check solid there. All right, it's gonna open here. See how many apps I have running on the background, like with 32 megabytes of memory. I think that back in those days, this should have been really impressive, given the fact that we have GL demos with OpenGL, we have publishing apps, we have all kind of app system apps, even a terminal, this is really intense. Yes, this looks like, of course, one of the most popular games that you can use on Windows. I, by the way, never played, it was never my thing, but yeah, you can see it's also well animated. And now again, this thing, guys, I can take a solitaire window and put it left, right, just drag it around. It's going to work in real time. And this was something Steve Jobs bragged about it because it wasn't the case with any other operating system back in the days when the next step really was released in the uh, late 80s. I'm just going to try to close some of these apps because I think that's already too much for my VM. ML score application looks like another music application. And yep, you can create your own thing. We got to appreciate this design here. Those are some samples for the ML orchestra. I can try to check some of the settings. Sadly, I'm not able to get any sound for any reason. But again, very powerful multimedia for back in the days. Okay, And I do have more in the library. So let's just go back in the library. Let's go to ML score. Hopefully there is a MIDI there. No, all right. Presto score. Let's open this one. All right. <laughs> Can I export this to the MIDI? Test. I don't think so, but I'm probably going to try. Oh, converting notes to MIDI. Ooh, super draw version 4.0. Let me minimize the finer here. How many apps are here? Publishing app, Visio style apps, music apps, production apps. There are some things that we can easily recognize now in even the most modern operating system. Like just take a look at the picker here, right? The small things from OpenStep that are still living in some of the other operating system. T22, again, I don't have any serial, so I have to use the demo mode. The release is 2.30M. Oh, a picture of a nice lady loaded. And yes, now I can share this thing that Steve Jobs demonstrated, guys. You can take the picture and move it around in real time. And this was just impressive back in the days. And by the way, we have to appreciate the date information. All right, so here we have localization info, the date and time the password preferences all right the keyboard settings the mouse so many settings like the mouse speed and the double click delay with a very nice animation here it really looks like one of the first mac os uh, builds all right then this is the display we have also the sound preference and by the way it works the menu preferences and also the service preferences so from here you can just disable them all right let's just go on and i'm going to show this thing here this is called the omni web i guess this was the web browser used back in the days this is the recycler so when i click it in uh, there are some apps that are already here all right duplication oh yeah now the browser is loading so omni web 30 the World Wide web navigator for mac os x since the web is constantly changing omni web 30 is always being developed which means the version you have right now may not be the latest the project builder is here developed with open step and it also somehow merged into mac os this icon opened the summary of devices so i can check my display my pointing device the network <laughs> scuzzy the audio of course a sound blaster 16 remember the days i got an a64 with a wavetable this was just killing it all right the mouse and you can check here the Ethernet adapter, the setting for the Sound Blaster, I guess. No luck with opening Archive ORG, but I just guess that I have to be more precise with my network configuration. Now I'm back in the next apps and let me show you something, guys. The Grab application. This also made its way uh, to macOS. And this is kind of cool. I have to show this to you. So I'm going to press a selection here. So let's say that I want to grab this, all right? I mean, can you imagine, this is something that we're so used right now. We do these things even on our phones and we have also the snippet, for example, in Windows. And it was there like since almost 30 years ago, the Grab application. You can save it, of course, as a TIFF file or just discard. Also something that made its way to the early versions of uh, Mac OS. Uh, let's try to load that one. You can check the attributes of an app. In this case, is the next time app. The owner is root. All right, you can see all the permissions here. And I guess this was also one of the differences between the next and open step versus BOS. BOS was like one user centric. And here you can have different users. And then the finder guys, like, yes, the finder. This thing really is almost everywhere, specifically in the early versions of the mac OS. you can just search for some things and then of course you have the console on the background just checking what is happening 
So this was the open step 4.2. I really hope that you get some fun and let's see what else we're going to do next. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. VST over and bye.